I'm gonna bathe him. If you want to come up and see pretty close, you can see that there's a lot of packed undercoat in there. See, you can't even really see his skin. That's a lot of, that's all, it's not matted. That's just packed, dense undercoat. And so that's all going to come out with the bathing system and the blow drying. There's no need to brush all this. When it's wet and clean, it stretches. And so I'm going to show you then how to brush that out while he's wet and soapy. And that is going to save you a huge amount of time as well. Now, if you have a recirculator, this, this, is, this is where if you use it nowhere else, this is where you want to use it. Because you're injecting that soap clean soapy water all the way down to the skin even as dense as it is i'm going to get all the way to the skin i'm just using this like a scrub brush yes i have people tell me i can't get the dogs this clean with this i don't i, I i'm not sure why um i don't i don't understand it because i get these dogs like squeaky squeaky clean with this even with all of this packed undercoat. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's maybe not the best shampoo they're using or they don't have the right nozzle or I'm not really sure. But I will tell you this. When I was bathing these types of dogs by hand in the old shop that I worked at, it would take forever. Forever, forever. This dog would take 30 minutes just to bathe. And as you can see, I'm almost halfway done with it already. And that's just the first quickie, get everything wet back. And now since he's older, if he was a younger dog right now, I would make him turn around and I would wash the other side of him and all that. But he is an older dog and I'm gonna try to turn him around as little and make him move as little as possible you can see by the way he's standing he's a little close in the rear because he's trying to keep himself up and if he lays down he lays down I'm gonna let him lay down too he's an old guy and I love him and I don't want him to get too too awfully tired as much as possible so and I'll do his head when I turn him around and that way he'll be pointed the other direction so now what I'm gonna do since he's wet and soapy now is when I'm going to brush him. And if you want to come a little bit closer, you can see that the brush, when it's wet and soapy, it goes all the way down to the skin. That's hair. It goes all the way down to the skin through that undercoat when it's wet and soapy. Just, I'm holding him up with my other arm because he is older. And I don't want him to slip and fall. Okay, so that's just just one leg. And go back here. This is always really thick back here. So sometimes it takes a couple of I might have to put the You need the strap? I think I might need the strap, yeah. That way you don't hurt yourself. It's just put the strap. So we're just going to use this to kind of help him so he has something to lean on. And that way he's not falling over. So now we're going to do some more while we're brushing. So you can get probably, you're not going to believe it later when you see all the hair flying, but you can get probably 50% of your hair out this way and with less stress on the dog. This, this makes the hair stretch and it makes it more comfortable for the dog and it makes your life easier too. Uh, it's a slicker. Is this is just a easy? slicker brush, yeah. And since it's wet and soapy, it comes right out. Yeah. And that's, it's just, just falling right out. That's just one leg. 
just all one leg. Okay, buddy, sit back down. There you go. Good job. And I'm as you, back. if you could feel this, you would be amazed. You, get, you just have to try it if you're a groomer to understand what I'm talking about. Just it just slides right through and just pulls all the dead stuff out. And whatever you don't pull out, you're now cleaning also because you're making the shampoo go down to the skin and you're loosening so you can get the rest of it out with the blow dryer so you're doing several things when you're doing this and you're making your life easier and the dog's life easier now this is a double-sided slicker brush this side is a little bit the gray side is a little bit softer and the black side right. is a little bit more stiff as long as it's the head part that flexes, that's the most important thing. Find one. On, uh, find one. Find one on Amazon. I'll link it below so you can go right to it and get it if you want. But these are really awesome, and it just does it does a whole lot of your work, makes your life easier and the dog's life easier if you do this in the tub, wet and soapy. Um, if the dog needs conditioner and you really want to do that, you can then bathe them again and put, you know, conditioner on them and do this again with conditioner. But this is not, this brushing wet and soapy is not half as hard as doing it dry. It doesn't take half as much effort to get the brush all the way down because the hair is stretching and you've got the soap surfactants to make it all nice and slick. And you're just pulling pulling and or loosening up all that dead stuff super easy it's just not as hard on your hands and it's not as hard on the dog and then what I do is I go again and I rewash that area that I just did so you can imagine doing I do the whole dog like this and then I rewash that spot that I've brushed out and I can feel, can't explain it, if you're a groomer you'll understand, I go back and feel that area and I can tell that a lot of that undercoat is out. And so if I did miss anything, now I'm getting all the way to the skin if there was a spot that couldn't And didn't we can quite see the skin now and yeah, on our and end, yeah. You can, you can see the pink skin. Yeah. But you can see where it's so clumpy but that's all now nice and clean, and when I blow dry it, it's just gonna fly right out. Uh, it's gonna go everywhere and make a disastrous mess. But I would much rather make a wet, clean hair disastrous mess than trying to blow this dog out beforehand and blow all that dander and everything everywhere. Especially with some of these guys, they don't like um, around their head blow dry. Like with him, he's not super thrilled about it, and I don't want him fighting me. I just make sure it's really clean and really brushed out. Wet V shedding. He doesn't mind that. He actually kind of likes that part. Just doesn't like the water up there. <laughs> I think there might be some, definitely some Malamute or something in here. But he's a super sweet boy. And I just try to make this as easy on him as possible. Especially the spots that he doesn't care to have mess with too much. I just get all of that at least loosened up. So that way, if I have too much trouble blow drying around his head, Okay, try this. Squirt right us. <laughs> see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? 
It's two. <laughs> Time for a bath. Everybody needs a bath. Time for a bath. Shake, rattle, and roll. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, no, no, come on down. <laughs> Need a hand or you got it? Nope, I got him. I'm just going to do what I can with him laying down. Okay. That's the other thing I do with him a lot. He is a big boy. Once he goes down, I just try to let him be down as much as I can. So I'll try to get the rest of him whatever I can with him laying down. That way, hopefully, he's a little more comfortable, doesn't get quite as tired. And he fights less that way, too. So, just make, make your life easier, especially if you got an older dog like this. And they want to take a break, let them have a break. You know, don't be in so much of a hurry that you can't accommodate these guys make their lives as easy as possible, especially the older ones. There's a little less power there, so we're gonna see if we got a bunch Hair. of hair. Oh yeah, I'm sure with him we do. Oh yeah. Got the hair coming out. and I'm starting to really understand these older dogs. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to lay down. <laughs> to hear anything probably while I'm drying but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be de-shedding him with my dryer and 
Um, I'm going to be getting the nozzle up. First of all, I'm going to use a flat nozzle. I'm going to get the nozzle up really close to the skin. And I'm going to wave back and forth. That's going to loosen up the undercoat and make it come out. And it's going to go everywhere. And um, it's, again, going to eliminate any dry brushing afterwards. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know how much of that will, you know, do on the for the camera work and leave it in the in the video. But that's an explanation of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, so that we can get all the rest of that dead undercoat out and I don't have to do much brushing afterwards because he's not super thrilled about it. Man. 